Last night, the city of New York filed a lawsuit in federal court against five investor-owned fossil fuel companies most responsible for global warming. They are ExxonMobil, BP, ConocoPhillips, Shell, and Chevron. It's time for them to start paying for the damage they've done. The Divest New York campaign uh, began years ago. Uh, I remember personally leafletting in the streets of Midtown Manhattan in the summer of 2015. I think at first the divestment movement was very much, you know, climate organizations and climate groups um, coming together. We started ramping up a ton of events. Bill de Blasio. Scott Stringer. We had a huge, 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 like, over 5,000 people came out to march um, for the fifth anniversary of Sandy. And I think that was emotionally powerful. I was home in bed -Stuy. I heard a cracking noise. I took my daughter out of her bed and the ceiling caved in. I almost lost my daughter. You know, organizers like NYCC help us see that, you know, this is actually systemic and that my liberation really is bound up with yours and then you start building power with your neighbors, with your communities. Bruce Climate! Our Climate! Bruce Climate! Our Climate! And so today we announce that the city of New York will divest from fossil fuel reserve owner companies. <laughs> we, eight and a half million strong, will no longer participate in a system that endangers our very own people. Winning divestment certainly was a testament that the only sort of transformative change comes from grassroots, comes from the bottom, comes from the people. And this movement was the people saying, this is what we want, this is what we need, and you have to do it because we will vote you out if you don't. You know the story about David and Goliath? <laughs> mm -hmm. To, to win somebody that huge, it's like emotional. What you have been fighting for wasn't a losing battle. I want for her to know that we were fighting for her future. The lawmakers, they do have children too. So we're not only fighting for ourselves, but we are fighting for their children as well. This is really just the beginning, I think. We are waging a war on fossil fuel, and we're coming for them, and they know that. And I think they're a little scared.